Hey guys, so I watched the uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, uh, the newest version of Ghostbusters movie in the franchise. Um, I think this is the ultimate third movie of the trilogy of the first two. I'll consider that 2016 um, movie that with, with Chris uh, Hemsworth. I think that movie was some garbage. <laughs> I mean, some true garbage. Um, but my thoughts on Afterlife, I think... I think it's a good story to... To send off uh, Harold Ramis. I think the main focus on Harold Ramis and his family. And um, I think this is a good... Um, a good send off to the character of Egon. Spangler. Um, I think uh, the main character, the little girl, I forgot her name already. I think she does a good job as far as portraying Egon. As far as like the the whiz, brainiac, you know, nerd type of person. Uh, I think she was. Uh, I think she played that role good. Her friend, uh, she met in podcast. I think he was a good Ray, uh, Ray character. He got that Ray vibe to me. Um, Paul Rudd. <laughs> I think his character, his character is pretty good. I think uh, as far as the material he got, I think he did a great job. Um, I think I think he was a good. I think he was a good actor. Um, and uh, the person that played uh, Egon's daughter, um, uh, she was she was okay. I think as far as her character, uh, she didn't know much about her father, so I think that was a good closure on that. And um, I think they bring back the character uh, Gozer, which is cool, uh, Zul and all that. Um, I think the Stay Puff Marshmallows, I think that was, that was just all my, I mean, all, everything was just all my, the first two Ghostbusters, so, I mean, of course, um, but honestly, man, they could have done a lot more creativity on the, on, on the third, third film, I mean, they could have done more, I mean, hell, they should have brought, uh, if they going to bring back, <laughs> uh, Ghost of, the, uh, Ghost of the Barbarian, I mean, they could have brought back, uh, uh, Vigo. <laughs> I mean, she was just yeah, bring back Vigo. Hell, I would have done something. If Vigo, it was related to the cartoon. I mean, not the cartoon, the um, the video game that was released like what, probably like ten years ago now. Um, and they made Vigo kind of like a nice character. Vigo a nice character. I think <laughs> they should have him in the film. I mean, just. I don't know, man. It could. I mean, it was a good send off in the end, but I mean, it could have made that a lot. I mean, it could be a lot stronger. You know, in my opinion, it could be a lot stronger. Um, like the little teen they they built they got the kid from uh, what's that show? Uh, Stranger Things. You know, they said he's supposed to be <laughs> 15 years old in that, in that in that movie, which he don't look like a 15 year old. I mean, honestly, they just. <laughs> Should have said that he was. Uh, he, he posted pretending he was six, uh, I think seventeen, but he's fifteen or something like that. But yeah, actually, he's really nineteen in real life, <laughs> and he looks like a nineteen-year-old. <laughs> um. Uh, but as far overall, his character, I think he's he's good as as. I think he's a good actor. I think he did good his part real well. Um. I like the the Ector Ector one car uh, he fixed and driving through the the grass fields. I think that's just cool, you know, just something you know, something unique with the Ghostbusters car. Instead of going through the bridge, you go through the field. I think that's cool. Um, they had a little back history of the the person who built the um, the temple for Gozer, um, Gozer Zul. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. What's the who posted? I think Sandor. I think that was the name Sandor. And play. I think it played by J.K. Simmons. <laughs> he only had like three minutes in the movie. 
and they just got rid of him quick. I mean, honestly, they, just, they could have just like got rid of that, got rid of him, just just got rid of him. I mean, like they shouldn't even just put him in there. I mean, they should maybe just do like a full uh, image of him, and you know, probably or oh hell, it'd be funny make him a painting <laughs> in that show in the in that that that, um, that temple. And then he'd be alive in that painting. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. But yeah, they could have more different ghost characters. Um, I mean, but I know it's just basically, you know, just it was just basically a a cap a recapture of the very first film, um, as far as the the main bad guys and stuff. Um, I think the ending was probably the best out of the whole film, uh, as far as like you know Bill Murray's character, Peter Bankman, as well as his love interest, uh, you know that little cue card thing from the post uh, to let uh, post credit scenes, which was cool. Um, but overall, I, I it was a, a one through ten, ten being the highest, one being the lowest. I get this. To be honest with you, I get this like a six. Uh, it's a it's, it's a decent film. It's way better than the one in twenty sixteen. I give you that. But overall, it was, I give it a six. I mean, it could have been a lot, a lot better. I know they're trying to capture a young, another, a different audience, but still, even if they're trying to capture a younger audience, it could have been a lot better. I mean, it, the the girl character was cool, but she is too. <laughs> I mean, she was too young to rock that 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 proton pack. Um, I mean, I mean, it's just I don't know. It could have been a lot better. Uh, the Slimer character was was good as like a first character, a first monster ghost that the kids you know try to get, but it it wasn't like as strong as it was since the the since the last, the first film. I think this film was just they were trying to do too much from the very the very first Ghostbusters, but not with this one. And um, yeah, it was just it was just weak. Uh, it was just weak. Um, yeah, I'll say just watch it on HBO <laughs> or or Netflix it or something like that. Um, but I won't consider this as a a purchase, um, but if y'all, if everyone, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, or fan, of course, of course, buy it. Uh, this is a great ending to uh, Egon Spangler's character uh, for Harold Ramis, um, and it's good. They had that like nice shot, all four of them with the proton packs. Uh, I think it was good that Harold Ramis didn't say anything. Um, and it also makes you think about the future of movies. Uh, if the future of movies, are they going to have CGI characters of people who already died and they just use their their character to portray a film? I mean, they've done it already, a few characters already, but... Uh, I mean, I mean, what's going to be with that? I mean, they... They got... A plan, I mean, you know, for that. That's that's real. That's my real Because if you can uh, make money from a, uh, a, a character who the actor of that character died, and they used to be a CGI, if they talk, and their voice be just like you know, visually uh, made. Or, you know, I mean, that's, that's a good question, like, you know, because they can bring out the old characters and stuff like that, but, you know, it, nah, that won't make sense because if they did that, they'll be under that, that, uh, that, um, that company, um, um, what was that company name? Was it Ghostbusters Core or something like that? Uh, so they'll probably be under that, uh, that franchise but uh but yes yes again um ghostbusters afterlife 
it's okay. Not not perfect. But I don't think there'll ever be another Ghostbusters film as is, that was good as the very first two. Really the first one. The second one was unique. But you know, the very first one was the best one. And but the reason why I like the first two compared to the other two because they had a unique style of their films. And honestly, like now you think about like Ghostbusters for one and two, then you think about Bill and Ted one and two. Like both those 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 films are very had unique um unique like atmosphere. Their atmosphere is very unique in, in both of those films for the very first one and the second one. And it, it builds out that world of of that that film. It builds it builds the world of each film. Like you take for example like Bill and Ted, the very first one. They meet Rufus, they travel back in time, and you know, meet all these different historic characters to pass a course, stuff like that. But the style of it is so different. You know, it's unique. And then with the second one, they keep the same style, but this time they go to heaven and hell. And you know, the afterlife. You know, with Ghostbusters one and two, you know, they of course do the intro of the characters and they bring up the characters Zul and Gozer and a little history about Sandal. Which was neat, and then the safe puff marshmallow man to top the cake. So that I mean it's a solid it's solid, you know, bring unique characters, unique monsters, ghosts. And the main villain, you know, which was unique. Like, they don't have to fight him, but they went through, like, choosing the destructor to destroy that, to destroy the world. So, and then the second one, which was, you know, unique too, like, you have a ghost that was trapped in a painting. <laughs> uh, only thing about that is that the river of slime, like, where did that come from? What they should have done had something like that with. The second uh, with the uh, the afterlife, unless that part was where Sandor that that looked like lava or hell was that slime, like they could have gone too deep, real deep with that slime from the second one of Ghostbusters, like they 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 just say it's just evil ooze that people get angry it you know it you know it it, it, uh, it moves. They could put more emphasis on that in the third one. At least get like some ideas like where that comes from. But um, and that um, what else? They had a lot of um, homage to the very first one as far as the ghosts is coming out and being around the people. Um, I like when they had uh. I think the real cool was the the gross out back and the the, the after one with the track catch that goes and they shot up all around the city <laughs> that little small town and when they had that, that little um, burger place where the team was working it was called spinners and when he took the uh, spread the day it's now called sinners which was pretty was pretty cute um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll say the only thing that was unique about that film was Egon. Uh, I think he was a real uniqueness in that film. I think there was a, there was a couple, few problems, uh, um, I probably put in another, uh, another video, um, that I think they, sh that they missed out. But, uh, Overall, it's worth only really seeing it once. It's not the worst see it twice. Unless you're a real Ghostbusters fan. And that's all I really have to say. Alright, well, alright, y'all. This is Wyatt from Gamer Blue. I'll talk to y'all later. Alright.